I'm Dave Knapp, Man on the Manjaro, and I am here to talk to you about ZepBound today. Let me tell you a little bit about this medication and why it is a absolute game changer. You're probably hearing tons about it on social media, on the news, everywhere. Well, first of all, the thing you need to know is I've been on ZepBound for a full year. What? It hasn't even come out yet. Well, let me tell you about it. Zepbound. Zepbound is a molecule called terzepatide that was approved this week for weight loss. But it's been around for over a year for type 2 diabetics in the same dosing, just a little bit different package. My version looks like this. So what is terzepatide and why is Zepbound such a potential game changer in the obesity medicine space? Well, to understand what Zepbound is, it's helpful to understand its predecessor. So you may have heard of Ozempic. You may have heard of people using Ozempic or because Ozempic is a diabetic drug, the counterpart Wigovi, which was approved for weight loss. So it's kind of the same thing with terzepatide. You have Manjaro, which was approved for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. And then a little bit over a year and a half later, terzepatide was approved for weight loss. And now it's called Zepbound. So it belongs to a class of medicines called incretin mimetics, and it's kind of a fancy term for basically hormones that are specifically made in your gut. And uh, its predecessor, Ozempic, is probably one of the most popular GLP-1s that you may have heard of. There are others before it, but GLP-1 is the most prominent of the incretin hormone. And what they found is that when people have bariatric surgery, they actually lose weight, of course, by the reduction of intake and food. But what they find is over time, there's a restoration of these incretin hormones. And that's what helps them, uh, many people, to sustain the weight loss is there's a, a, uh, a revamping of these gut hormones that helps to keep the weight loss down. And so incretin hormones are essentially a, a uh, hormone made in your gut, GLP-1 being the most prominent. And it is responsible for delaying gastric emptying. It's responsible for reducing the amount of sugar that's made in your liver. It's uh, important in the uh, gut to brain connection as far as it relates to making you feel full in your brain. And so because it's acting on, on a number of things, it really helps people to uh, reduce what we call food noise, right? So they're not thinking about food as much because this this gut brain connection is restored this the motility of the gut the digestion of the food is slowed down a little bit so we just feel fuller for longer and this ultimately reduces the amount of calories that are that are brought into your body helping people to lose weight but one of the things that makes terzepatide unique or manjaro zetbound is that its predecessors all acted on just one incretin hormone called glp1 these medications terzepatide is a polypeptide that acts on two hormones. So basically what these peptides do is they mimic these hormones that are made in your body naturally. So in Ozempic and Wigovi's case, it mimics GLP-1. In Majaro terzepatide, Zepbound's case, it mimics two GLP-1 and GIP. These are two prominent incretin hormones. And because it's acting on two, it actually does a couple things for you. Helps people lose a little bit more weight and helps to mitigate the side effects. They're not sure, they don't really understand completely the science behind why that is, but the hypothesis is that the GIP component acting on a second uh, incretin hormone, mimicking a second incretin hormone, just helps to tamp down uh, some of those GI side effects and some of those more unpleasant side effects that people may experience on the older traditional GLP ones. Here's the amazing news. The bottom line for you is that with terzepatide, Zepbound, Manjaro, many, many people are able to achieve bariatric surgery level results from a weight loss standpoint from a once weekly injection of a peptide that mimics hormones that are already made in your body that for most people who are obese, most people who are metabolically ill are completely dysregulated. It's, it's think of it as restoring a balance to your gut hormones that doesn't exist. And that's what these medications do. If you found this video helpful, please consider following my channel. Hit that like, hit that bell, hit that sub, and we'll see you on the next one.